Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hari Karna. This video is the third part of the top IoT cloud platform series. In this video, we'll discuss the third cloud platform that is ThingSpeak and its features. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button so that you'll ne never miss an episode. Let's get started. In the previous video, we have discussed Azure IoT and its services. If you haven't watched it yet, then click on the top right corner of this video so that you can watch it now. Now let's get into today's topic that is ThingSpeak. Let's get into the presentation. Let's see what is ThingSpeak. ThingSpeak is an open source IoT analysis platform that enables data streams to be aggregated, visualized, and analyzed all in real time. It was created by MathWorks, a software company that specializes in engineering and scientific computing. ThingSpeak is often used for prototyping and proof of concept IoT systems that requires analytics. In addition to publicly accessible version of on the web, uh, ThingSpeak can also be hosted on your own server as an open source application. I'll be discussing the pros and cons of the Things speak at the end of the video, so stay tuned until the end. Now let's get into the data flow diagram of Things Speak. So here we can see on the left we have sensors and edge devices. These devices collect data from various sensors and machines on the factory floor. And in the middle we have a cloud where data from many sources is aggregated and analyzed in real time by an iot analytics platform such as things on the right we can see a diagram depicts the uh, algorithm development associated with iot application we can gain insights into collected data by performing historical analysis on the data in this case the data is pulled from iot platform into a desktop software environment to prototype algorithms that may eventually execute in cloud or on the smart device itself. So now let's look into the key features of ThingSpeak. So the key features include uh, the ability to easily configure devices to send data to the ThingSpeak using popular IoT protocols, such as HTTPS REST APIs and MQTT protocols. Second is visualize your sensor data in real time. So we can also aggregate the data on demand from third party sources. And we can use the power of MATLAB to make sense out of your IoT data. And the fifth one could be the you can run your IoT analytics automatically based on scheduled events and prototype and build IoT systems without setting up servers or developing web software. Automatically act on your data and communicate using third party services like Twilio or Twitter. Now let's look into how does the ThingSpeak work. ThingSpeak works by providing RESTful API that IoT devices can use to upload data to the cloud platform. Once the data is uploaded, the ThingSpeak provides various tools to visualize, analyze the data. ThingSpeak also offers integration with other services like MATLAB, which can be used for advanced data analytics and visualization. Basically, ThingSpeak has three main functionalities, collect, analyze, and act. So we'll be looking into these three in the coming section. So first, let's look into collect. So under the collect, uh, sensors, basically sensors would be there, and sensor detect and measure information on all sort of things like temperature, humidity, and pressure. And they communicate that data in some form, so such as numerical value or electrical signal. So this thing speak enables sensors to send data to the cloud where it is stored in either private or public channel. We can create an account in the thing speak. Once we create, we can also create a channel. So once uh, the channel is created, which can be used to store uh, data from the sensors. So ThingSpeak stores data in the private channels by default, but we can make it public so that it can be used, uh, it can be shared with all the public internet. So you can use any internet connected devices, uh, IoT devices such as Arduino, ESP8266, Raspberry Pi to connect to ThingSpeak. 
we can communicate with ThingSpeak using HTTP requests such as REST APIs. And then also we can publish MQTT messages or we can use MATLAB functions. Once data is in the ThingSpeak channel, you can analyze and visualize it. Calculate new data or interact with social media, web services, and other devices. Now let's look into built-in integrations provided by ThingSpeak. So ThingSpeak has some of the best advantage here is because many vendors have uh, already built their integrations to ThingSpeak to make the setup very easy. For example, you can look into LoRaWAN or Things Network. So Things Network is one of the popular uh, network for LoRaWAN connectivity, so which is already inbuilt here. So you can connect your LoRa devices and then directly integrate with Things Network. Now let's look into the analyze. So in the analyzer part of it, so once we uh, get the data uh, to the cloud, that is ThingSpeak, so we have done uh, collection part. Now comes the analyze part. So you can discover the relationships, patterns, and trends in the data by using the tools in ThingSpeak. So we can also calculate new data and also visualize them in the plots, charts, or gauges. So in the field one uh, of this, uh, image you can see that there is a chart uh, where soil humidity data from the garden is shown so this data is uh, we can use this data to set an action to water the plants in the garden whenever the humidity is less so the, this part of this part comes into act uh, section so in the next section we'll talk about this in more detail and in the second image, you can see the gauge, right? So that is the temperature gauge. So you can understand the current temperature in that area. So these are the some of the graphs and gauges that have uh, taken from the public channels, which everyone can access from the ThingSpeak. So I'll post a few of them uh, links in the description for you guys to look into. So let's look into the power of MATLAB uh, that can be used with ThingSpeak. So, uh, Many of you might have already know MATLAB and some if you don't know MATLAB, it is one of the uh, tool for scientific computing and other plotting uh, and also it will be used for signal processing, etc. So ThingSpeak provides access to MATLAB to help you make sense of data. You can convert, combine and calculate new data using MATLAB. We can also schedule some calculations to run at a certain time. We can also understand visually the relationships in data using built-in plotting functions. We can combine data from multiple channels to build a sophisticated analysis. So that is very good advantage of ThingSpeak is to take the power of MATLAB. Next, we come to the act section. So as we now we have spoken about collect, analyze, and we are into act. So once the data is analyzed, we can set few trigger points to perform some actions based on the data that, that we have collected and analyzed. So for example, when a person enters the room, light can be switched on. Uh, and if, we can also put some conditions like if the illumination is less, then only it has to be switched on. And in the previous section, uh, we also discussed, we have seen the chart rate at the soil humidity level. So we can, based on the soil humidity level, and we can set a threshold level. So if, if it goes below that, we can trigger an action to, uh, to water the plants. And ThingSpeak provides tools that enable device communication for all these actions and more. So we can uh, actually react to data. Uh, it can be raw data or the new data that we have calculated using MATLAB or some other analysis tool uh, so as soon as it comes from the channel. And we can also queue up commands for a device to execute. For example, as I mentioned in the three previous example, that is uh, switch on the lights when the person comes into the room, right? So that is a command that we are going to send. So now we look into the important uh, conclusion that is pros and cons. So the advantages of ThingSpeak is that it is free and open source platform. And this makes it easy to get started with ThingSpeak and build prototypes or small scale IoT solutions without any uptime cost. ThingSpeak also provides easy to use interface for data analytics and visualization. 
and it also makes easy to understand data generated by iot devices because it uses the power of matlab and the cons so the limitations of things speak is its scalability and reliability the things speak can handle small scale iot solutions but it's not uh, much suitable for the large scale iot deployments things speak uh, also lacks some of the advanced features provided by other cl cloud platforms like device management and security well these were some of the things that we should know about things speak while things speak has its own advantages and disadvantages it is an excellent platform for building small scale iot solutions and prototypes which requires analytics we hope this video helped you understand what things speak is and how it works as you have watched until the end of this video this video deserves a like and share your support means a lot to us and helps us creating content like this in the upcoming video we will discuss uh, one more iot cloud platform that is thinksbo Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.